Hello folks, my name is Jenna from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom and today I have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com and this one has to do with the great state of Florida and also Disney. It looks like Disney just got the last nail in its coffin and here we go and it says Florida's Senate passes bill to strip Disney special self-governing status. I don't know if you guys saw the video yesterday of the governor of the Sunshine State, Florida, Ron DeSantis, talking about how he approves and encourages the Senate to pass that bill. Just yesterday, he said that. And today the Senate has passed it. So it says this once again, this comes courtesy of Golden State Times. And it says the Florida Senate on Wednesday passed a bill that would dissolve the special taxing district that allows the Walt Disney Company to self-govern its theme park area. So where Disney World sits in Florida, it is governed by themselves. Not only that, they get an immense amount of tax breaks. And this happened When Walt Disney told Florida, hey, if you guys give us this self-governing district, we will come to your state and we will build a theme park, a whole living area full of, uh, you know, um, uh, districts and shops and and what's in hotels and stuff like that will bring in millions and millions and millions of dollars every single year. And Florida said, sure, master. Build whatever you want. Do whatever you want. That was back in the 60s. But guess what? No longer. Lawmakers in the Republican-controlled chamber backed the measure in a 23 to 16 vote. It now requires a vote in the state house before going to the desk of the Republican governor, Ron DeSantis, who called the legislature to support the bill during the special session of the week. This is the legislation will dismantle Disney's special district on June 1st of next year. The special status, which was granted by a state law in 1967, allows Disney to self-govern by collecting taxes and providing emergency services. They have their own police station. They have their own uh, fire station. They have their own water, their own electricity. Um, it, it's so radical that... Ron DeSantis said yesterday also that is so radical that they can actually build a power plant, a nuclear power plant on their premises and it be governed by them. That is how crazy this uh, this self-governing area is in Florida. I don't think I don't think it's like that in, in California. That's a very good question. Do you think do you guys think it's the same situation in California in Anaheim? Is where Disneyland sits also self-governing? That's a very good question. We have to look into that. It says Disney controls about 25,000 acres in the Orlando area. And the district allows the company to build new structures and pay impact fees for such construction without the approval of local planning commission. Completely autonomous, that area. This is the effort to eliminate Disney's district known as the Reedy Creek Improvement District comes after Ron DeSantis began a battle with Disney, a a battle actually that Disney started first. Disney took the first shot, right? And now they're saying that, oh, Ron DeSantis is targeting Disney. Ron DeSantis is going after Disney. That's not true. Disney took the first shot. And now that they're losing, they're pretty much going to their friends at the media and trying to spin this. But it's, it can't be spent. They can't do it. Not only will the Republicans not help them with, when Mickey Mouse's uh, patent, pretty much their copyright protection, ends next year. If the Republicans take over, they said, we're not going to help you extend your copyright protection for, for Mickey Mouse and a bunch of other Uh, works that you guys did back in the 30s. We're not going to help you. And now Florida is telling them, you're no longer going to be allowed to self-govern yourself in our state. If you want to stay, you're going to pay an immense amount of of taxes like everybody else. So it goes on to say that DeSantis has hinted in the last few weeks that he wants to do away with Disney's protections completely. 
saying that he doesn't support special privileges in law just because the company is powerful and brings in millions of dollars. And, and that's the thing. And that's the reason why it, it passed back in the 60s. They used their immense leverage to try to sway corrupt politicians of the time to give them those special privileges. It says, separately, the Senate also voted 24 to 15 on Wednesday to pass a measure that would remove Disney's exemptions in a 2021 law on big tech censorship. And that's a whole nother issue. But right now, it's a huge win for freedom. It's a huge win for the Florida, uh, Florida people. Because now all of the taxes and everything is going to go back to the people. It's not going to stay with Disney. And that's the crazy part because Disney in this self-governing area can make deals with hotel chains like Hilton and, and Marriott and all these other ones that they said, okay, we, we can allocate this area for you. You can build whatever you want, but all those taxes that you get, all those taxes that, 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 um, that you get from people, they're not going to Florida. Oh, no, no, they're not going to Florida. They're going to us. Not only are we going to charge you for building on the land, we're going to charge you for maintaining the land. We're going to charge you for uh, allowing us, allowing you to be here. But you're also all the taxes that you get are going to go to us. That's how crazy this is. But I'm glad that Florida and Ron DeSantis took a stand and now they're making it happen. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below rega regarding this whole situation. Should this happen also in California one day, hopefully, right? If they do have a self-governing area in California, in, uh, in Anaheim, should it be stripped away in the coming future? Hopefully, if it is the fact that, uh, that they do have something like this, it should be stripped away because Disney can, is not allowed and should not be allowed to do something as crazy as this. So, once again, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe and click that notification bell by clicking the middle button. Also, check out our previous videos that should be coming up on your screen. Jen is having a live press briefing today, so we're going to be live streaming it. If you guys want to check it out, it should be coming up on your screen or I'll pin it to the top of the comments below. We hope that you guys join us. Also, make sure you visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's www.goldenstatetimes.com. I don't know if you guys know right now, but um, Netflix is bleeding. Their stock plunged 37% because they lost over 200,000 subscribers in the last month. And they're bleeding like never before. A lot of people are saying it's because you went too woke. Obviously, the tech, the, the tech world and the fake news media are saying, oh, it's because of, you know, Disney and others. No, 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 no. Netflix is bleeding because they went woke, period. All right, folks. So if you guys want more information on that, go to our website, goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's www.goldenstatetimes.com. Thank you so much, folks. My name is Jen Goldstein, and I hope to see you at the live stream on our website and on our previous videos. Peace.